More than 5,000 books fill these shelves, and you can get your favorite title for next to nothing. The Logos Hope aims to get more people reading. From here, we'll go into dry dock here in Durban. We have about a month over at one of the shipyards where we will uh, bring the ship out of the water, clean the bottom, do some painting, check uh, certificates, make sure the ship doesn't sink, and uh, then we'll carry on. It's the fourth vessel commissioned by German charitable organization GBA Ships since 1970. In its first three years, the Logos Hope sailed over 43,000 nautical miles and opened its gangways to 2.5 million passengers at 63 ports across the world. The ship's 400 crew members are dedicated to supporting local communities through outreach programs. Local officials have welcomed the crew. Instead of waiting for us to have resources to build a proper structure, we rather start small so that our communities do have a library, hence the idea of container libraries. But container libraries are not going to be a permanent feature in these communities because we feel that every community deserves a library. And locals are loving it. I think it's phenomenal. It's just so huge. It's got so many books, um, books of all kinds. I think it's a great uh, opportunity to discover a different way of propagating culture and very interesting. Durban is the furthest south the Logos Hope has ever ventured and bookworms across South Africa need not worry about being left out. The vessel will head to Richards Bay in May before sailing to East London, Port Elizabeth and Cape Town. Judith Subban, Durban.